Donald Trump owns a lot of things. In fact, the Trump Organization is the 48th largest private company in the U.S. But Trump doesn't pay taxes like a big corporation. He uses a special part of the tax code that lets him bypass corporate taxes, that lets him pay only individual tax rates to his benefit. And if he has his way with tax reform, he could make himself even richer. To understand what Trump wants to do, let's imagine you worked at a sandwich shop. Since you're just an employee, when you get paid, you have to pay the individual tax rate. But if you're the owner, you would first pay corporate taxes and then pay individual taxes. These add up to about 32% for the average business owner. But there might be a way to pay even less. Instead of being a traditional corporation, you could make your business a pass-through entity. They're special because instead of having to go through two layers of taxation, like a normal corporation, they can go through just one, like an individual. And those businesses pay, on average, 19% in federal taxes. This was originally designed for small businesses, but huge companies with less than 100 shareholders structure themselves as pass-through businesses, like the Trump Organization. Trump isn't alone, though. Over the past 40 years, more and more corporate income has been earned through pass-through businesses. And even though pass-throughs were created to help small businesses, nearly 16% have more than 500 employees. But Trump and House Republicans want to help these businesses even more. Trump's proposal is to make the pass-through businesses go through the corporate lane, but then he wants to lower the top corporate tax rate from 35% to 15%. Meanwhile, House Speaker Paul Ryan wants to make a whole different lane for pass-through businesses and tax them at the special low rate of 25%. For the largest pass-throughs like the Trump Organization, this would mean a huge tax cut. An analysis from the Tax Policy Center found that the top 1%, people who earn $700,000 a year or more, would get 90% of the tax cuts under Ryan's plan. He and Trump believe that cutting taxes on these businesses will raise wages for all workers. But right now, most pass-through income goes to the top 1%. And most mainstream economists don't believe there's a strong link between corporate taxes and worker wages. But what we do know is that if Republicans give pass-through businesses a tax cut, Trump will get a lot richer.